What's up guys, Spiro here from WP Society. Welcome back to another video tutorial and in today's video I'm gonna teach you how you can install WordPress in your subdomain following five simple steps. In the first step we are going to log in into our cPanel and add subdomain. In the second step we are going to create database, user and grant permissions to user. In the third step we are going to upload WordPress to subdomain, extract and prepare for installation. In the fourth step we are going to connect our WordPress config file with the database. And finally we are going to run installer and have fun with the new website. Now before I go to the content I just want to let you know that here at WP Society we create WordPress tutorials for beginners, intermediate and advanced users. We also create full step by step how to make a website tutorials so if you're into it if you want to improve your wordpress skills make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos and now without further ado let's hop into the content all right guys we are now over at goodmoodpromotions.com and just to explain you what's the subdomain subdomain is this piece that goes in front of the domain so for example subdomain would be something like support.goodmoodpromotions.com which will be actually a subdomain that we are going to create for purposes of this tutorial which we will use for help purposes uh, for support purposes of our website for example to do so we first need to log in into our cPanel once you log in into your cPanel you need to find subdomains so you can go use a search or you can find subdomains plugin somewhere in your cPanel dashboard and just click on it and here we can set up a couple of things uh, first thing is subdomain and we said subdomain will be support but since I have two domains attached to this uh, hosting account, as you can see, goodmoodpromotions.com and coinz, if I select the wrong domain, for example, if I wanted to create support.coinz, I have to select the right domain. And just be aware of this. It's not a big deal, but it could eventually happen. And this document root, this is a location where our root files of our WordPress installation will, will go to. Support.goodmoodpromotions.com. You can change this if you want. For example, you can make it just slash support if you want, if, if that's what you like. Uh, but I'm going to leave whatever uh, my cPanel is recommending by default. So I'm just going to click create, create. And it's going to take a couple of seconds. As you can see, support.goodmoodpromotions.com has been created. That means it was success. So go back. Guys, now it's time to move to step number two. In step number two, we said we're going to create database and user as well as give user permissions to access database. To do so, find MySQL databases. It's over here. Or you can just use search function and search for MySQL. And here we go, MySQL databases. And then create a database. I'm just gonna call it support. GMP, like Good Mood Promotions. And then click create. What's important to do now is to save this database information because we are going to use it in step number four where we are connected WordPress config file with the database. So I'm just going to open up a notepad and then I'm going to write down database name, database user and database pass. And let's go back here and then just scroll a little bit down and create your user. I'm just going to call it soup and password for your user. I like to generate passwords and then use password and paste this password here. Click create user. All right guys, now find your user and find your database and then click add. And here you can select to add all privileges to the user to access the database and apply changes and then click make changes. We need to save this database user and we are done with the step number three. Now, to go to step number four, we need to download WordPress. So go wordpress.org and just download latest version of the WordPress. This doesn't have to be uh, WordPress. You can install anything in your subdomain, but in this tutorial, we are obviously installing WordPress in the subdomain. So what we're gonna do again here, go to cPanel home and then find the file manager. You can again use search and then open up a file manager. And if you remember, this was the right subdomain that they said they're going to use for our root files. So open up this folder and that's where we want to upload our WordPress. So click upload, select file, and now select your WordPress installation zip file. It will take maybe a minute. 
once upload is completed just close this upload tab and click here reload now we want to extract this file so click here and right click extract and extract files and this creates another subfolder called wordpress and since we don't want to install wordpress into support.goodmoodpromotions.com slash forward slash wordpress but just support.goodmoodpromotions.com we are going to paste these files from wordpress subfolder to the root folder of the support subdomain and move files and then you can remove this folder and uh, this zip file and that brings us to step number four in step number four we are connecting wordpress config file so wordpress installation files with the database uh, to do so all we have to do is to find this wp-config-sample.php and rename it so right click on that file rename and remove this sample from it and dash so it looks like wp-config.php and then click rename file and now click right click again and click edit and then edit again now pull this database user name and password from the file you saved copy database name then find database name in your config file and paste do same with the database user and database password Now save changes all right guys and that brings us now to the step number five and step number five is the sweet one because what we want to do we just want to close these unnecessary cpanel windows and refresh this page support.goodmoodpromotions.com and it will start our installation of the wordpress just a little tip guys sometimes what can happen is your hosting account might need some time like half an hour before they can resolve your subdomain and if you try to access it fast as I did in this tutorial it, it won't work it happened to me in past so no stress just give it a, like you know have a coffee give it five minutes try again and most probably it'll be up and running and that's actually the reason why at the beginning of the tutorial we created the subdomain first because it takes time for hosting servers to resolve the creation of the subdomain uh, now we are on the sweet part as I said finish the installation you know your settings continue I won't take you through this part you know what to do here now i'm gonna let you know at the end of the video on the right hand side on the cards i'm gonna leave you contact form 7 speed fix it removed two queries and speed up from 0.2 to 0.4 seconds on average per each side now before i knock off i just want to ask you one last question would you like to know how to make money online quit your nine to five and earn your freedom if you're interested in making money online make sure you check the link down below in the description of this video that is my number one most recommended opportunity to make money online subscribe to my email list and i'm gonna send it over to you right away right now and with that being said guys we got to the end of this video if you like the video smash the like subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos also check that cards on the right hand side as i said earlier two very important tutorials one for a speed and one how to make a website from scratch thanks for watching i'll see you again Cheers.